Hello and welcome to Database Management Systems. I'm Chivita Christi. And in this video, I'm going to explain to you the PLSQL go to statement. So let's begin. The go to statement allows you to transfer control to a labeled block or statement. This is the syntax of the go to statement. The label name is the name of a label that identifies the target statement. In the program, you surround the label name with double and closing angle brackets, as you can see here. When PLSQL encounters a go to statement, it transfers control to the first executable statement right after the label that you put in. Let's see this with an example. Let me explain to you the go to statement by writing a small code, an example program. And for this, I'm not declaring any variables right now. So I'm going to skip the declaration part and I'll just write begin. And with begin, I'm going to write down go to. This is where I'll mention the go to statement. And for now, I'm just leaving it uh, blank. Afterwards, I'll come back to this statement. And now what I'm going to do is write my code in three different parts. The first part is where I'm going to write down the label first message. And here I'm going to mention the output put line function that says hello. And after this, again, I'm going to mention a go to statement, but I'll come back to that later on. And now the second part of my program is where I will mention the second message. This is another label. And here I will write down a print function that prints the keyword demo not keyword it's the message the message demo and finally the last part of my program is having a label the end and here i'm going to print goodbye as a message. So this is my code right now. And in the end, I'm going to put the end block right here. Now let me go back to the go to statements that I had written, but I had not entered anything into it. So in these go to statements, I'm going to mention where exactly I want to go in my program. So in the first statement, I'm just going to mention for the sake of it, a uh, second message. So this is second message. And after the second message here, I'm going to mention, sorry, after the first message here in the go to, I'm going to mention the end. And after the second message, I'm going to put another go to statement that says first message. So now let me let me run this and explain to you how exactly it's working. So I will copy this. And go to SQL command line. Make sure you clear the screen if something is there. And you can also write down here, uh, set server output on if this is the first code you are running after turning on your SQL plus command line. And now you can paste your code by going on top, right clicking, edit and paste. And the code is pasted. Now you can do a forward slash to run your code and you can see how it's running exactly. It first prints demo, then it prints hello, and then it prints goodbye. So how exactly did this 
uh, work out. Let me show you. This is my original code starting from begin till end. This is the code. And I have divided the code into three different sections. And you can see right here, the first section is first message. And the first message is hello. The second section is second message. And the second message is demo. And the third section is the end, which is goodbye. So the, in this way, there are three sections. Now, I have used three go to statements in my uh, code. The first one comes here. So when my program starts, which begins from right here, once it begins from the begin keyword, then directly it encounters the go to statement with the label second message. So it skips this entire first message part and directly goes to the second message part right here. And after going there, it prints the word demo. So you can see demo is printed first, even though the first thing I have written is hello, but demo gets printed first because of the go to statement. Next, what happens is it goes right uh, after the second message. There is another go to statement right here that asks it to go to the first message. So the label given is first message. So instead of proceeding in this manner, in the, you know, in the sequential manner, now my program goes to first message label. And there, the message given is hello. So this time it prints hello as the second message. And finally, after this, after printing this much, again, you can see that there is a go to statement and it says go to the end. So the end is another label which takes it to the last part of my program, which is the end part. And here it, uh, it prints goodbye. So you can see that goodbye is printed right in the end of it. So if I were not to use the go to statement here, if I had somehow just skipped the go to statement, then this code would be running uh, in a sequential manner. So it would be printing first, uh, hello, and then it would be printing demo, and then it would be printing goodbye. But because of the go to statement, I can make my code run in any type of manner I want. I can make it go from, I can make it go to demo first, and then hello, and then goodbye. And I can make any number of combinations. So I can name sections of my code, and then decide which section should run in which case. So go to statement works in this way, but there are certain limitations for the go to statement and we are going to see those limitations now. So once again, uh, I'm going to go back to my notepad part and let me remove all this code from here. And I'm going to write a new code for this. Uh, to demonstrate where you cannot use go to. So, let's see. First, I'm going to declare a variable. In this case, it's a sales variable of the data type number. And then there's a tax variable of, again, data type number. Then in the begin part, I'm going to write down go to Okay, before that, in the begin part, I'm going to simply write down sales greater than zero. If sales are greater than zero, then I want the tax to be equal to sales times 0 0.1. So that means if the sales are, if there are any sales, then the tax should be 10% of the sales. And then I'll end the if statement here and also end the begin block. Now I'm going to insert the go to statement here. And in this case, I'm going to insert the go to statement right above this, right above the if statement, go to. And the label that I'm going to put with go to, that label I'm going to put after the if statement. So here I'm going to put the label 
And I'm going to name this label as inside if. And this is the label that I will put next to go to inside it. And that's it, that's my code. Now let's run it and see what type of error we are getting. Uh, and yeah, this should be end if not end. Let's run this code and see what type of errors we are getting so that I can explain to you where you can put go to and where you cannot put go to. So I'll go to my command line once again and clear off my screen. And let me paste my code by doing edit paste and forward slash to run it. And it gives me uh okay this is giving me an error here where i have instead of putting two angular brackets i've inserted three so that's not a, an error because of go to so i'll remove one of the angular brackets from here and i'll copy my code again and paste it here okay just clearing the screen first and then I can paste my code. This time there's only one angular bracket and I can do forward slash. Okay, now it's giving me the error that I wanted to show you. So the error says illegal go to statement. Go to cannot branch to label inside if. The reason why we get this error is because I have inserted the label for go to inside an if statement. Now the point is why do we have an if statement? We usually have an if statement because we want to check some condition. We don't just want to go inside the if statement. If we wanted to just enter the if statement, we, we could just remove the if and whatever code we were writing inside if, we could just mention it right there. But uh, you can see that I have written an if statement. And the reason why I have mentioned an if statement is because I want to check the value of sales. If the value of sales is greater than zero, then I want this code to execute. But by putting this label inside if and then asking go to uh, to go to this particular label, I'm forcing my program to enter the if statement even if this condition is false. So this goes against the principles of the if statement. And that's why the go to is not working. So you cannot put go to inside an if statement it will always give you this type of an error not just an if statement but late uh, but in a case statement which i showed in the previous video if in that also you insert go to it will give you an error if you give insert go to inside a loop inside a loop also it will give you an error so you must not insert this inside a loop either and you'll be learning loop in the next video so uh, don't worry if you don't know about it yet. Now, another problem that is there in go to statement is you cannot insert go to inside an else part also. So if you have an if statement here, this is an if statement. And uh, for the if I have written an else that says maybe tax is equal to zero. And now whatever uh, label I had, I want to remove that label and instead put a label inside else saying inside else. And here I will change it to instead of if, I'll change it to else. Now if I run this code, it will again give me an error. So let me copy, go to the command line clear the screen and I'll paste it here and forward slash. You can see once again it says that it is illegal. So if you put the go to statement inside even the else part, it's not going to run because else is only supposed to run if the if statement fails. So this is uh, this is how the go to statement works and uh, remember that you cannot use it in many cases when you have used uh, if statements or loops or else or anything of that sort. 
So be very careful with uh, the go to statement if you're using it. If you use it very carefully, uh, it can be useful to you in many ways while writing your code. So I hope you understood everything in this video. And that's it for this video. I'll see you in the next one. Thank you for watching.